And now let's turn from this kind of who is who's who to the flying objects and the persons. Uh, yeah, and the beam ships, as they are called. Beam ships is a kind of a, an antique expression because it tr traces back or goes back to the time when they were propulsed with, with, with a beam. Uh, they had a beam propulsion. That is not the case anymore. The Billy Meyer case, I think, is uh, most famous because of these pictures here of the UFOs. That uh, many people are intrigued by this or are fascinated by this. And uh, there have been many, many pictures taken by Billy. And a huge amount, actually. And if I say a huge amount, that's, uh, that's the case like this. And I give you here a few examples. That's the first hundred here. Um, the picture vanishes here in, in my screen. I have to use the mouse. Hmm. I cannot see this. Ah, it's here. You see the several ships here. Yeah. Then uh, here. There's a whole series here with the tripod. From these scenes, there are existing 8 millimeter films as well as photographs. And another 100 here, you see uh, here the hole that he shot with a laser pistol through the apple tree. Or here are traces of his footsteps in the beginning, in the middle of a field, coming to the, to the, to the way out of the field. Here you see. Um, uh, traces of an elf in, the, in the, the clay. Here you see landing tracks. In the, the ice was burned here in the parking lot. And there were over, uh, over 1,000 photos have been uh, either stolen or have been uh, destroyed by Quetzal. Uh, nearly all of the photographs he took, more than 1,000 during his great voyage, uh, were taken, uh, were manipulated by external forces after having been sent to the processing laboratory. And then um, Quetzal took them all and destroyed them. Uh, next pictures here. Here is the wedding cake ship. You see here. The mouse. Billy was sitting on one of the ships, and the, the remote control the little one here was uh, flying around, and he could photograph it. Here you see at the top of a, of a tree that the ship broke down, and then the, 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 the juice flew out in streams here, and the, the, the wood, wood uh, went open. Next one here. Bio, opla, bioorganic ships here, or metal samples here from other planets. Yeah, that's uh, just uh, some of these uh, many photos he made and that are available from FIGU. That's the, actually the last, or the, one of the last pictures Billy made here from the wedding cake, wedding cake ship, as it is called. Uh, in the early 80s, Billy stopped making photographs of the beam ships and he had then his accident and so uh, for uh, nearly 15 years no photos were made anymore from, from beam ships. And so we were uh, pleased of course when uh, in 1998 Core group member Edith Beldi was able to uh, make this photo here. You see this ship here flying. She wasn't aware when she made the photo that uh, Florina was up there. Florina tried the whole day to, to 
bring her ship to the attention of Edith, but she didn't look up in the sky. She had eyes for other things. And so uh, we were, of course, we were lucky then and happy to have this picture here. The next one, just about three weeks later, there was the, no, that's the, an enlargement of the ship here. And then just about three weeks later, we had the passive meeting at Schmidrüti, where all the passive members came together and then on Sunday they made a visit, uh, a walk here, these three people, and Bernhard Kal Kalner photographed them here, and it was also not noticed that there was a ship up here. Yeah, so here. They only uh, found this uh, peculiar here after uh, having gotten back the, 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 the film, the photos, and so uh, it was a, a year later they brought it back to Schmidrüti, and then it was uh, analyzed, this picture here by the Pleiarns, that's a, a, an, analyze, an analyze made by the Pleiarns, and then cop copied by Billy, that's not, uh, he doesn't own the original of this. Uh, and it was, uh, here the information about this cannon, it was showing for an beam ship just at that instant when the protection shield changed its frequency to not being detected by another, uh, an, another foreign beam ship. They had at the same time another ship had been up there making ob observations and Pleiarns had a higher, higher technology, and while cha changing the frequency, the back of their ship was visible, and so it was kind of a coincidence that uh, they got on the photograph. Next picture shows Zafinat uh, Baneer's ship. You cannot see that it's a ship, it was a, a silvery dot in the sky that was driving by, or flying by, Zafinat Paneer and, Sa and Samyang were in it. And uh, earlier that evening, um, another f ship was flying by, the highest, then uh, an airplane, and beneath five uh, hot air balloons. And so what you see here on the left side here, this, uh, that's the, the top of the flagpole. Freddy Croft made this photograph. It's a 500 millimeter telelens up like this, beneath, uh, just by the, the, the flagpole. And Billy asked that he put the flagpole top also in the picture. And so you, that's the shade, the white shade here. Then uh, you use the next two pictures are made by me. Here, I had uh, also one, one of my sightings. This war has been in uh, May 20, 2000. We were called that uh, there was a ship up there at the sky. I had my photo camera at hand and so made a photograph, but uh, my tele lens was not good enough and so uh, you cannot see the ship here, but you see the weather. It was. Uh, very sunny and a sunny evening. There was a, a tiny silvery dot up there in the sky and it was not moving, but the clouds were moving. And then uh, at one time there was a second silvery ship up there and we could uh, see this for half an hour. And so I thought if I don't see the, I cannot photograph the ship, I will photograph the witnesses. There were 17 in all, but here uh, you see just a, a few of them. Here you see uh, they are from four different countries here, from Canada. That's Silvano Lehmann, here behind his Billy here. And he is looking here with a, with a lens. Yeah. Then, I told you that Billy stopped making photographs since 1981 or 1980. And then we got notice of a man from the Pirk. The Pirk, it's the region around Schmidrüti. It's called, this, uh, it's a, a native name. 
he was able to, do, to uh, make the best photographs since the, since the 80s. He was there, up above the center. For four years, he told us later, or told Billy later, again and again, he was there, sitting up there on the center's ground or above, uh, and trying or be prepared to see um, beam ships. He, on, on the one hand, he was interested or fascinated by the thought, and uh, he was also a little bit skeptic. And so in the night of June 5th, 2001, at 50 past midnight, he was sitting there and had his camera ready on the tripod, and he was able to shoot these five photographs here of Abdas ship. He was able to do this because Pta had analyzed his thoughts, he recognized and, and detected him sitting there, and they found that his, gen his interest was genuine, and so uh, decided to give him a demonstration. And very uh, interesting that the same man was able to make photographs again, two and a half uh, months later, at daylight, two photographs of Star's ship. Yeah, the man then came to Billy, told him his story, showed him the photographs, and uh, requested that he, Billy, will keep his name a, a secret. He doesn't want to, know, to be known there, around, because he doesn't want to be called a UFO nutcase or Schmidt UFO nutcase, and he is he's in fear of his uh, wife because he told that his wife is very religious, looks upon UFOs as satanic things, which are steered by Satan personally in order to prepare the souls for hell. And so he uh, said, I don't want that my na name is uh, being published. Here's the last picture I will show you of, the, of such uh, newer photographs of beam ships that's in uh, Vienna. And the castle is called Belvedere Castle in Vienna, Austria. Joseph Gruber, he was photographed by his wife. She's a core group member. They didn't see the ship while making the photo, and we later learned. And this has happened several times. We have also several group members could, have, could make photographs of beam ships, but uh, I don't have the time to show you, show 